Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another lovely fuse board change. With this one, there's something else in the way other than a meter. So let's get cracking. Some of you will already probably know that it is very glamorous um, being an electrician. You get all sorts of lovely jobs. Um, this one is definitely no exception. So instead of a gas meter being right in my face, we have a toilet. <laughs> Can you believe it? Luckily it doesn't smell too bad. Um, I'm going to put some covers on here, I think, uh, and then I'll just have to wash them after. Use this probably as a work bench, which is quite convenient when you think about it. Um, so we have done on this job, we've done some EICR remedial works already we found a few faults on line circuit and a few issues with earthing um, bonding issues and things like that so that's all sorted now i have ran in yesterday a new six mil three quart garage supply for the customer so this is this just coming in from a funny angle plenty on it um i've connected that into the board it's not powered up yet but um so i've got that to connect now with this not a lot of room as you can see some of this will come out i think this is going to come out all this is going to come out there's going to be a miraculous um, appearance of a mains isolator which will help things um once that's magically appeared we're gonna um run in a new board here now as you can see not a lot of room there is i think 12 circuits in here and we've got one two three four five circuits in here We've got six circuits in here. I think really we've got maybe seven or eight. Twelve-way board might fit in there, but we haven't got enough room for that. Um, so what I have gone for is a double stack. I'll go get it now. So here's a double stack. Again, this is only the smallest double stack here you could do, which is the um, eight and ten. Way. So we've got eighteen ways there. Now, I'm hoping that these knockouts, I, I offered it up a little bit earlier, so I'm fairly sure we're near there or almost there. Those knockouts will suit these two fuse boards here, where the cables do come in the back of it. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to be quite a simple swap. Um, and obviously we're going to tidy all this up because it looks like a right mess. All these end blocks are going to go, there's going to be no end box left. There's going to be one earth bar there. This, we've got a floating earth bar under here. That's going to be saying bye bye. Um, and yeah, I think we'll just get stripping out, um, turn everything off, and we'll go from there. I feel as though I'm on a bit of a time trial with this because. I had staircase beeping at me, you know, um, electric stair lift, and I've got alarm, so alarm will start going off soon. Um, this is where I say I better just stop talking and get cracking, I suppose. Actually, quite nice on the toilet. Um, the workspace right in front of where you need it so it means I can put stuff on and it's quite a reasonable um, location. I want to keep it clear which in a few hours and on video you'll probably see it'll be like full of crap. Um, I'm going to get my mask now and I'll probably do another time lapse of fiddling and jiggling. I'm going to get all these into I'm going to put new all here, new all there, cut this across, get everything fed into here um, if I can. I might even some of it if as long as it reaches down further that'd be great. Leave a bit of spare ways. I need to check how many circuits I've actually got up there.
this should now just slide on nicely. We'll level it up, screw it back. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Gently, just ever so carefully slide it in there and pray that those plates don't come off because they can just ping off at any second. And see, for some reason, that one it isn't wanting to stay in. Oh, oh. With a click, went with a click. The plates are still in. And this one here, it's just popping out a little bit. The plates are in. Oh, God, I'm not I need that, I need a lip there. So, I'm gonna. Just one screw. <laughs> this is the moment. I'm using some very baby screws um, to hold it nicely. Level it there like that. There we go, battery's already dying on that. Try and get that. Why that's why that done that? It's gone in at an iffy angle. We don't screw that thing. Well, I evolve. Not really. Definitely level. So absolutely solid that. That is not going anywhere at all. We've got a little bit of an underlip, underhang here. Overhang, underhang, whatever. Bang, bang, bang. And we are a micron out of level there. But it will certainly do for this. I've now marked my armoured off, give it a very, very rough measurement. Some grippies. I'm 
going to do a very nice little trick for um, sleeving my cables. Really, I guess I should probably buy some bit bigger sleeving than what I've got on van. Because every time I end up to do this, it's nice to just get a bit of sleeving for something that I do quite often. With six mil. So I'm just going to roll this out. And roll the tape along here. Like this. Which is the neat way when you're an absolute tight ass like me. A little bit off centre. <laughs> this is the hard bit, you've got to just flick that over there and get that edge stuck. Get the small edge stuck first. Yeah. And then Fold it and flick it over carefully as you go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Looks like a blue conductor now. And then we're gonna go black. Cover this in green and yellow. Put in comments. What do you guys do when you sleeve and stuff up? Is it just your bog standard bit of tape? Tape it up, rough as ass, is not bothered. Well, some people say that's rough. Look at that. Beautiful. That's that, done. Nice and easy. It'll last a good week anyway, and then when, when I've been paid, I can fall off them. <laughs> but that's that, and we've got a zerf there, so I'll double that up with that. So now we are looking like we are ready to second fix, aren't we? So I don't know what's happened to the recording, but um, I've probably missed a load. Um, I've now managed to strip everything back. Um, I've populated it. That's pretty much it now. I've got my put in there. I'm going to now connect meter tails and then obviously connect everything up, ready for the mains isolator sorting. And we are getting there, all right. <laughs> I've now terminated everything. I've, I've emptied my van of RCBOs. Um, <laughs> I've used a few more than what I expected, so, but anyways, I've split things up a little bit better. We ain't got many spare ways left. I'm now gonna get this, um, get these meter tails into an isolator. Second fix these, and then I've got some retesting to do, especially circuits where I've split them up different to what they were originally. Um, just to make sure that everything's all right. And I've got that new circuit for the um, outside garage supply to test. We are second fixed, it's take some doing this. We're now at half two. You know, I should be going home now. But anyways, <coughs> I've, um, <coughs> I do all testing, got all the testing done. Um, my isolator has miraculously appeared. Property of Scottish power. Say no more. Nothing to do with me. Um, so that's where we're at now. Probably wants a little bit of tickling here. Oh, a lot of circuits there for this house. It's only a three bed um, semi. But I've, I've tried to split everything up as much as I can. And we've got another battery dying. So 
I have tried to split everything up as much as we can. Um, I'm ready just to do some dead tests on a few bits. There's his arm going in there. Comes in through there. Way all done. Go on. Oh, it's a late one for me. We're now quarter past four. I've got a bit of tidying up to do. I still haven't done the test sheets. I've, I've filled up four paperwork out. It all needs organising and everything because I've copied over the NICR, but what I'll show you now is what we've got left. And it's a bit of a transformation. Um, well labelled, as per usual, all ready to go. Um, job's been absolutely sound. It's been quite difficult splitting up all them circuits. I've been making like new circuits and chopping and changing stuff. So things are still doubled up in that, but I have no room left. If I split it properly, and it'll be splitting up like one, two sockets at a time. So, anyways, that's all done. Um, thing to take away from this job is having a toilet right where you're working actually ain't too bad because it's a nice little work area. <laughs> so, any more, any more of my customers out there? You know, if you've put a toilet in front of viewers' board, happy days. I'm fine with that. <laughs> anyways, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, Give us a comment, let us know what you think of this install. Um, and also, if you've got any challenging boards for me in my area, obviously, I'm happy to um, take it on and see if I can make it look neat and tidy. All right. So, guys and girls, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in a bit.